Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Steel Roamer, which is a horror game where you drive around Australia. In the arid regions of Australia, a secret facility called Flowers Gap unleashed a radioactive plant that mutated some animals into horrific designs. The most notorious and deadly of them is the Kyliru. You've been detected by a deranged individual who needs your help to restore the signal towers and document anomalies around the abandoned Wonder Magpie Station. You're trapped in a modified RV, facing the unknown terrors of the wasteland. Whoa, this is curious. Oi, Mackenzie, you there, mate? Aye. Don't you dare step out of that RV, mate. If you do, you reckon you'll be the main cause for tonight's dinner. I'll Aye. Tell you. Here's the plan, mate. Keep an eye out for any sightings around this area and fix them signal towers. We need the authorities to get in touch with so we can put a stop this bloody monster. You know what I'm saying? We need to get rid of this damn beastie. The bush is full of help. Oi! Can you see him explaining something to the person in the RV, love? Jeez, come on. Just give us a rest. Yeah, nah, that ain't. It's that blasting kangaroo. Get out, you ripping mad woman. Sorry about that, mate. Missus just walked in unexpectedly. All right, anyway. Up front and back of that RV you're in, you're going to spot two monitoring screens in the steering wheels. Yeah, you use those to keep an eye on where you steer in the rig. Because they're also being modded to have thermal vision too, because it's, it's going to be bloody dark out there. Use those thermals to see if we can spot anything while you're out there. And if there's any of a kind of a ruckus. you got the radio in there as well, mate. To keep you in company. Just in case you get bored. I know, fancy the eerie silence all around you. But yeah, sorry mate. The lights don't work out there. Nothing can do about it. That's... Just chucking a lamp in there for you, just so you got a little bit of light. Gotta warn you though, it gets real curly out there. I'm going to cover all them windows too, you see, because Kyler really ain't keen on folks seeing or getting filmed. Covering the whole shebang ensures that wildlife reckons it's just some sort of metal creature or something. Well, I reckon that's the lot, mate. You might have to catch some crackle on that radio signal, because it's pretty wonky reception out there. I'll leave you to it, all that in your lonesome, so good bloody luck, mate. Crikey. Better put some tea on, love. It's gonna be a light one. Oi! Oi, 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 oi. This is gonna be, uh, this could be bad. Entity de designation K667 was an eerie egg with twin cracks on its surface. These cracks emitted a strange purplish red heat visible in the thermal vision. The air reeked of decay and the room felt lifeless. Time's passing was uncertain, causing fear for those who saw it. The egg pulse of glowing. Growing malevolence, radiating an unsettling energy. A tall 68 foot red male kangaroo had ragged fur soaked in sweat. Its unsettling smile revealed missing teeth, resembling human skin in the exposed areas. Emerging from Australia, Magpie Station or Flowers Gap conceals a chilling enigma. Within its walls, a secret facility holds the unsettling secrets of reshaping Australian animals into unimaginable forms, more so than usual. Whispers suggest a breeze led Kyliru supposed career to abandon the site, leaving scientists advanced without a trace. The unsettling question remains, what truly unfolded in this place? Hmm. A sense of horror has taken hold of the small town near Wonder Magpie Station due to the mysterious disappearance of several people. No clues are left behind, leaving the community baffled. Local resident Douglas Warrington claims that a kangaroo is responsible, a notion initially laughed at but now feared. Nights are filled with strange noises, including a loud roar from the Flowers Gap area which Douglas attributes to the kangaroo entity. So I... don't quite understand what he wants me to do, but... What's this? Entity designation P399 began its existence as something small, gradually morphing into a colossal form, surpassing the size of an elephant. Its growth was accompanied by tusks, each three times larger than the nose of an ordinary pig, protruding menacingly. The scent emitted by P399 resembled that an overripe putrid fruit, Exhibiting a toxic, toxic aura when in close proximity. A chilling incident unfolded on a serene beach retreat, as the entity effortlessly tore through a sequence of four imposing steel doors. Uh oh. As if they were mere sheets of paper. This horrifying breach resulted in the tragic demise of 12 personnel. Its rampage echoed the ferocity of a stampeding rhinoceros, the facility trembling under the weight of its colossal hooves. The containment of this malevolent entity demanded the use of 10 specially crafted sleep darts, each aflame with urgency. The fiery darts found their mark, subduing the beast and rendering it to a dormant state. 
Presently, P399, this is sequestered within a secure containment chamber. The scones beneath the Earth's surface at a depth of 30 feet. The darkness now conceals what was once a... Kind of, kind of cut off there. Entered the destination W243. Virgin is a Mongolian death worm. The AP-13 transformed this creature into an immense heartbringer of doom, making our most colossal creation. Terrifying tremors echo in its wake as it engulfs everything amidst the Australian wilderness. The colossal horror even brought Mount Augustus to the brink of annihilation before desperate intervention by authorities he utilized a specially engineered sedative to subdue the ravenous force that had awoken. Well, this, uh, like I'm driving it, but I'm not quite sure how I'm driving it, you know what I mean? I think it's linear. So now we're going into the, uh, place. I feel like I sent something. So there's one of the signal places. Signal activation found. Okay. I just want to look at the back camera. Please activate. All right. Okay. Now we need to drive out of here and go to the next one. This is kind of like a weird... Australian Iron Lung. Which is a, a very specific statement, I feel like. Now, I ain't seen no old kangaroos. So I, I reckon we uh, are pretty good. See something in the distance over there. Motion detected. Just then jump by. I mean, it looks like a normal Rue. Check out behind us. Yeah, it's just right there. More of them around. Motion detected. Signal activation found. These none are behind us. Okay. Start moving. Everything's fine. It's just Australian wilderness at night. Let me go left here. Kind of hear something big. something in the uh, distance that is a damn uh, death claw motion detected 
Motion detected? Where? Here's our next stop. I'm still not quite sure, like, the goal. Something's out there. Drive on, uh... We come across the bunker from Jurassic Park where everyone dies. And that is a never modified RV. Or two. Huh. Something's going on. I think we should get moving. Motion detected. Kangaroo. Signal activation found. Great Southern Land. Da na 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 da na da na da Okay. So we gotta drive back this way. Big building over there. Wild animals, yes, I'm sure. No entry. Joke's on you. Oops. Passing by a uh, metal barn. Got a little late on that one. Huh. Uh, 
And there is another RV. With the newspapers on the window, and it is completely torn apart and torn open. Huh. How many, uh, RVs have you sent in here again? What the? What is that? It's huge! Okay, I, I think that was specifically an iron lung, uh... Nod. Left lane ends. It feels like I'm on like a rail shooter game. Signal activation found. Okay. Other side. I am catching something that was there. Should we pick up another? Detected. Motion detected. Signal activation found. I'm hearing them, but I ain't seen them. I, I figured things look looking pretty good for us. We made it farther than all the other RVs. You know what I mean? Already a good sign. Motion detected. Oh, it's just kangaroos. Move, buddy. Signal activation found. Light arm detected. Whoa! That's no good. We're getting out of here. So far, so good. I don't see any of Australia. Signal activation found. Okay, just hit this. Standard procedure. Alright, 
we're backing out. Life arm detected. I am not seeing anything, and that bothers me. Why is this thing life form detected? There's nothing here. Huh. Curious. Seeing a lot of stuff in the distance, but nothing of real note. Okay. Standard procedure. No! Root! Steel rumor. So I guess if I said life form detected, I'm assuming he got on top of us or something. Thank you, the player. New prologues. Bloody hell. Another disaster. Just like the rest of them. Failures piling up. That blasted bomb didn't do a thing against Kyla Roo. The SRV falling up in flames with poor Dylan inside. Wouldn't you know it? I could hear some of that radiation sizzle coming from Wandering Magpie Station. And here's the kicker. That bomb under the SRV-4, tiny as it was, but it went off like a bloody nuke. And that dang kangaroo, still hopping around, covered in blood like a champ. Feel like that roo's some sort of ticking time bomb. Or maybe it is one. No wonder my dog copped a lethal dose of radiation. Not good at all. Always knew that dodgy facility was up to no good. Like it's always been. What kind of critter is that beast? I wonder. I don't know. Record log. Date. Prologue entry. 14. Our records show entity K667 is, without a doubt, a beacon of unsettling radiance within its pulse field. Months of meticulous observation have confirmed what we had suspected. Its radioactive emissions possess an uncanny potency. Today, we ventured further into the abyss of its enigma, using live test subjects enclosed within the reinforced containment cell. The results, as anticipated, were far from reassuring. The subjects, mere vessels of flesh and bone, unknowingly danced with the venomous tendrils 
of radio poison that leaked insidiously from K667's core. And then came the incident, the active occurrence that shattered the thin veneer of our understanding. An unforeseen crescendo of terror. Entity K667, in a frenzy beyond rationality, unleashed a high-pitched scream that mingled with a cacophony of otherworldly boom sound waves. The very walls of its enclosure quivered in protest, unable to bear the malevolent resonance. The air itself wavered and distorted, and in its wake, a once solid wall began to liquefy and splinter. The agonizing spectacle revealed in a glimpse of the horror contained within K667, an embodiment of chaos trapped within the confines of its nightmarish creation. The temperature within the cell soared, reaching an unthinkable 7,000 degrees Celsius, as if it was the very essence of K-77's rage, ignited in a pyre of annihilation. But then, in the aftermath of this cataclysmic symphony, a stupefying silence descended. K-667, against all odds, subsided into quiescence. Its rampage had ceased, leaving behind a trail of molten ruin and despair. As we cautiously moved in to neutralize the sleep-inducing gas that had cloaked the anomaly, a chilling realization settled upon us like a shroud. It had gone silent, but the questions that tormented us remained. What lies beneath the veil of its silence? What horror slumber? Awaiting the next crescendo of chaos, only time, as reluctant witnesses to this macabre theater, only unveiled the truth that now lingers like a spectre in the shadows. End of prologue recording. I bloody miss the old Cobra Marley lizard. But crikey, he's cracked it now, just a pile of bones and a memory. We had some ripper times together. That's for sure. Marley, he wouldn't harm a fly, mate. But then, those scientists at the Flower Gap joint just had to stick their noses in and jab Marley with their dodgy vaccine they reckon is AP-13. And they wouldn't even let me have a squeeze at him, calling him L-115, like he's some sort of test tube creature. He's not an experiment. He's a top-notch lizard, my best mate. Practically a part of the family. Oh, Marley. Where the bloody hell are you now, mate? So, that's it for Steel Roamer. So it is literally Australian Iron Lung. Like, it's it's basically a parody. I mean, you can kind of tell there's a very schlocky angle to it. But it, it is the same format where it is just kind of building up to something kind of following you. Then you get jump scare at the end. Like, it takes you out. Aside from that, kind of commenting too much, it is... Literally, it can basically be just saying, like, it's Australian Iron Lung. That, that's all it needs to be said. And yeah, that's, that's what we got. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Steel Roamer. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.